Grade 11s, welcome. Uh, let's work through the examples on page 186. This is in your study and master textbook. And um, the example 1, let's work through this. And this has to do with concentration. So it says a mass of 15 grams of sodium chloride is dissolved in water to form a 250 cubic centimeters solution. Calculate the concentration of the solution. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand that in order to get concentration, we need to look at what we have and what we don't have. So in this case, what was given to us is we have the mass. Let me just write down what we have. 15 grams of sodium chloride. Okay, so that's given. The volume is given as well. 250 cubic centimeters. Now remember I told you when we're working with uh, concentration, the volume needs to be in cubic decimeters. So we know that there's a thousand cubic centimeters in one cubic decimeter. Remember, cubic centimeters is like a milli milliliter, and cubic decimeters is a liter. So we know this will be 0 0.25 cubic decimeter. But we need to calculate the concentration now. Now looking at our formula, you can see we don't have the moles. We can calculate it, but this will be a long way around. We have the mass. We've got the volume. Can we get the molar mass? Yes, we can. We look at our periodic table. And on the periodic table, uh, we can calculate the, the molar mass by looking at the, the, the molar mass of each um, section. Like sodium is 23 grams per mole. And chlorine is 35.5 grams a mole. So let's write that down. So the molar mass will be equal to 23 plus 35.5, which is 58,5 grams per mole. So now we have what we need to do the calculation. So let's do the calculation over here. So mass is 15. Molar mass is 58,5. And volume 0 0.25. And I get 1,5. 0.0256, so it's 1.25, so it's 1.3, okay. 1.3, and this is then mole per cubic decimeter. And this is the concentration of the solution. Let's do number two. Number two says the following. It says a beaker A contains, contains 400 milliliters of a 0 0.5 uh, mole per cubic decimeter potassium sulfate solution and beaker B contains 500 milliliters of 1 mole per cubic decimeter potassium fluoride solution. Determine which beaker contains the largest mass of dissolved solutes. Okay, let us write down what we have and what we can calculate. Okay, so let's say this is A, beaker A, and this is beaker B. So for A, the volume is 400 milliliters, which is 0 0.4 cubic decimeters. The volume for beaker B is 500 milliliters, which is 0 0.5 
cubic decimeters. So those are the two volumes compared. Now the concentration is given in both cases as well. The concentration over here is 0, 0,5 mole per cubic decimeter. And the concentration here for B is given as 1 mole per cubic decimeter. And now what else can we get? We can get the molecular mass for both of these, right? So we've got potassium sulfate. So it's so potassium sulfate's uh, formula looks like this. K2SO4. And remember, the SO4 ion is SO4 2 minus. Potassium is in group 1, so each potassium is plus 1, so therefore we need 2. That's why it's K2SO4, so just remember that. Um, and we can calculate its molecular mass, right? So molecular mass will be 2 times the um, molar mass of potassium. Which would be, if you look at the periodic table, 39,1 plus uh, sulfur, which will be 32.1 plus 4 times oxygen, which is 16. And if you do the calculation, you get 174,3 grams. Per mole. And we can do the same for uh, beaker B, which contains potassium fluoride solution. So potassium fluoride, um, fluoride is in group, uh, group 7, so it's negative 1. Potassium is in group 1, so it's plus 1. So potassium fluoride just looks like that. Okay, so it's molecular mass. is potassium which is 39,1 plus 19 and we get a value then of 58,1 grams per mole. Now we have our information in a format that we can use it and the question, remember the question, determine which bit contains the largest mass of dissolved solution. So we are going to use this equation. Um, we have concentration equals mass over molecular mass and volume. And uh, we have the volume and the concentration and the uh, molecular mass. So by rewriting this equation, C M V equals M. And this will be the one used in our calculations. So let's do it so over here mass equals concentration times molecular mass times volume so the concentration was 0 0.5 molecular mass is 174,3 and volume remember in cubic decimeter 0 0.4 and if we do the calculation 0.5 times 0.4 times 174.3 you get 34,86 grams ok now let's look at the other calculation and it will look exactly the same remember to show your formula always so each concentration was 1 Molecular mass 58.1, volume 0 0.5. So you have 58.1 times 0 0.5 times 1, and you have 29,05 grams. So now we need to make a conclusion. So which beaker contains the largest amount of dissolved solute? And it would be. Beaker A. Okay, so question B states the following. It asks you 
to calculate the concentration of K plus ions if the contents of the two beakers are added together. So we've got two beakers, now we're adding them together, but before we do that, it's easy to do the calculation separately. So first of all, determine what is the concentration of K plus uh, ions for beaker A, or the amount of moles in beaker A. We can determine that, the amount of moles in beaker A and B. And then from there on, the volume, because we're talking about the concentration, and concentration is moles divided by volume, right? So we need the amount of moles, and we, we already have the volume. Think of it, the volume of beaker A and the volume of beaker B uh, is already there. We have the volume of beaker A as 0 0.4, and the volume of beaker B is 0 0.5 cubic decimeter. So volume total is 0 0.9 cubic decimeter. We already have that. So we are short of the volume. We just need to calculate the amount of moles. So this is now for beaker A. So to get to the amount of moles in beaker A, we can calculate, we say moles equals concentration times volume. For beaker A, the concentration, so for beaker A, the concentration was given as 0 0.5 and the volume as 0 0.4. So the amount of moles in beaker A, if you calculate these two, is equal to 0 0.2 moles. So this is the amount of mole for potassium sulfate. But remember now, we are interested in the amount of moles of K plus iron. So in potassium sulfate, we have For each mole of potassium sulfate, we have two moles of K plus ions. So each mole of potassium sulfate gives us two moles of K plus ions. That then means that we will have 0 0.4 mole K plus ions in beaker A. Now let's look at beaker B. In this one it's easier because it's just Kf, right? So for beaker B, mole equals concentration times volume. And the concentration was 1. The volume 0 0.5. That gives us 0 0.5 moles. And this is for Kf, which is the same as the K ions, right? The potassium plus ions. This then means that the total amount of moles is the amount of moles in beaker A plus the amount of moles in beaker B, which will be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5. 0 0.9 mole. So we have the total volume of 0 0.9 cubic decimeters and the total mole of 0 0.9. So our final concentration, remember the initial question was the concentration of um, potassium plus ions if the contents added together. So the concentration is mole divided by volume which will be 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.9 is equal to 1 mole per cubic decimeter.